And the curse of Billy Penn is really simple. For more than a century, Philadelphia had a height limitation that prohibited any building from exceeding the height of Billy Penn's hat, who is this incredible statue on the top of City Hall, a gift to the city by the French government. And in 1987, that height limitation was finally breached by One Liberty Place. And from the time that height limitation was breached, no Philadelphia professional sports team won a national championship. When we were building this building, which was going to be the highest building in Philadelphia, I said, why don't we put a statue of Billy Penn on the beam and once again restore Billy Penn to his rightful place and the highest location in Philadelphia. This little statue of Billy Penn raised up there in June of 2007. And of course, the next year, in the fall of 2008, the Phillies win the World Series. You can tell there's spiritual places. There's a quiet about it that was really neat. Travel to the Far East and around the world without leaving Philadelphia. Everybody's favorite place is the Japanese tea house. It's a garden inside the museum. There's water flowing. There's bamboo growing. And you can just appreciate a little tiny piece of Japan. It's a historic building in Japan as well as in our collection. In the Japanese tea garden, you can see like its surroundings. So that, I think, is really, really cool that they were able to do that in an art museum. You actually feel like you're in Japan a long time ago. It's amazing. Discover works of art from Japan, Korea, China, and other exotic destinations on a journey across Asia. This is a museum with one of the best collections in the country. We have a number of masterpieces that you really can't miss. We put on view our most valuable, most precious things. The Philadelphia Museum of Art offers a rich variety of artistic experiences. When you're walking around the collection, you'll see a lot of things that kind of look familiar. Well, the biggest surprise was the first time I came to see my first Van Gogh painting because a picture in a book just doesn't do it justice. To see the originals of Van Gogh and Monet was really impressive, really amazing. It really is a collection of masterpieces that you've seen illustrated in books. It's a spectacular collection of works of art from all over the world. As visitors walk through the museum's galleries, they encounter original works of art, masterpieces by some of the most celebrated artists past and present. 